You first enter the chaos and you can feel the buzz. There's street food stands, there's ice cream carts and motorcycles and tuk-tuks and mass volumes of products and produce brushing your skin from behind and nudging your elbow forward as you take a snap, bumping your tripod, catching your camera. Guy comes with ice stepping over your shoulder. My knees are cramping, the horns are honking and the chatter gets louder and louder and my eyes are everywhere except my photo. Did I even get the shot? <laughs> I have no idea. This has been the absolute worst feeling as a photographer thus far for me. In the comfort of my cozy condo, you know, getting pumped, feeling ambitious and determined. I'm ready to soak in all the liveliness and the hustle and bustle of Chinatown, Bangkok. Yeah, it even sounds good saying that. It's so overwhelming. Sensory overload. I don't know where to focus. Another friend came along, Holly. There she is. <laughs> Holly Berry. She asked to tag along, and it's nice to have some company, and it's also nice to hear that your work is inspiring others to get on out there. What's up, Holly Berry? <laughs> How you doing? All right. Good. So we jumped right into the heart of Chinatown, Yawarat Road, and all the soy surrounding it. Now, I was expecting to be pummeled with wicked photo opportunities, which we were. I realized it probably wasn't the best idea to have large gear in small places. I was really concerned about low light situations and trying to use my tripod to help eliminate the handshake. This is incredibly difficult to get street shots in here when everything is changing every single second. Sharice, if you're watching this, I definitely did not follow the two to 10 rule. I did not move on very easily. I've ditched my tripod going handheld. This environment has to be the one I'm most uncomfortable in. <laughs> Trying. There's just way too many things happening. It was just so overwhelming. I had to resort to some basic rules to keep me focused. Shoot through things, change the angle, and try to be patient. We're in the clunkiness of it now. <laughs> <laughs> This place is nuts. There's so many knockoff characters. It's really cool to look at, actually. So many colors, but it's a little awkward. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Oh, I, I, I can't focus on it. There he is. We ended up going to a less busy soy, which seemed to be like a route for a lot of the workers or passerbyers. The background looked pretty cool, and there was kind of like a leading line in the road. It looks really awesome when just one person goes across and you capture that moment. Great potential here. What do you have there? Oh. Looks good. I want some. The sun was going down and the lights were coming on, so we headed over to the main part of Yawarat Road. Holly just found this cool little disco ball on the road. I really want this tuk-tuk driver to look at the camera or at me. So, Holly, go over there and dance. <laughs> oh, oh, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Please look. Oh, keep going, keep going. Keep going, he will He will look, he will. No, he moved, he's backed away. <laughs> the opposite happened. He thought it was horrible, so he drove away. What is Holly? You have to get better at your dancing. It was so difficult to take photos of congested areas when you yourself are part of the congestion. It's just not gonna happen. Like, no, no, just it's not gonna work. Dang, this place is packed. It at least seemed that way in that moment. Way too overwhelming getting out of here. <laughs> it feels so unproductive. It's a whole other world out here. Failure. 
That it is. Frustration. It's definitely frustrating when you go out to try and get some cool pics and you feel like you got absolutely nothing. Sweaty elbows, humidity. You spend a whole afternoon, hours, one of your two days off, and you feel like you've got nothing to show for it. I mean, you know, I definitely learned a lot, but I feel like I didn't produce. Maybe it was the hustle or the limited time to observe the shots, inability to plan them, car honking for you to get out of the way. Having that feeling just made me want to tap out. You just feel like you just wasted all this time and you didn't really do anything. So I guess the take on this, it's not really a waste. It's just when you see all these photos in galleries or in print in magazines or on Instagram or all social media, there's a story behind that photo. It's not just a photo. What did they have to go through to get this? So what were your worst feelings when taking photos? How do you overcome that? Do you overcome that? Or is it just part of being a photographer? Tell me your stories. Tell me your life. With all the distractions, even though I felt like I didn't produce anything, maybe I actually did. Here they are. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and sub. And check out the Instagram down below. Dude out.